There are about eight cinemas operating in the country, including Anga Cinemas, IMAX, and Prestige Cinema. All of them were closed in mid-March after Kenya announced its first COVID-19 case. Around 500 million shillings has been lost in revenue, and 300 employees are out of work. Owners are desperate as bills and rent arrears pile up. Uh, we've been having some problems with the landlord here and there, about the, about the same, because they demand a pay of, uh, of rent, yet the business is not running. They are not in a position to negotiate the same. So it pushes us to a corner. So where are we, where, where are we supposed to get the money from? The cinemas now want to reopen by the end of July, and they have issued several self-regulation measures to facilitate this. Uh, because they are structured, they are organized, uh, you buy tickets online, uh, you get there, the temperature is checked, and you don't have to crowd, you keep the 1.5 meters uh, distance as you queue, as you get in. And we have agreed that actually they will cut the numbers uh, down to a half so that we keep social distance. But the, all the safety measures uh, for mitigating against the spread of COVID-19 will be observed. Globally, Germany, France and the United Kingdom are some of the countries that have reopened their cinemas. KFCB CEO Ezekiel Mutua says Kenya should not be an exemption. Some of them started reopening in May uh, and uh, June. Uh, but for here in Kenya, we were trying to tie it to the release of the blockbusters globally and uh, to see how uh, markets like uh, Hollywood, uh, and other big film industry uh, players will be operating. The question is, would moviegoers be willing to return to the cinemas once they reopen? If they can open other places, even church, I think even cinemas, they should open. Unless there's literally someone standing there with a light making sure people aren't right next to each other, I feel like people are still going to do what they want to do. Kwa sababu itaogopesha sana, kwa sababu corona nayo, ukiangalia vile inauwa watu, hata unaogopa kusonga karibu. No, I won't. I can't. I can't again. Because uh, there is corona. We still have corona here. So I don't want to risk my life and my family. If at all they are going to check our temperatures, uh, they are going to uh, um, uh, do the sanitizing thing and uh, social distancing and all that, yeah, I think it's going to be okay, and so me, I can go. <laughs> Closure of theatres has had a devastating impact on the business, lost jobs and revenues. Even with limited capacity, it is going to take months or even years before cinema halls can ever be the same again. Brenda Kirubu, KTN News. In our control. Commencing